Well, all eyes on the radar on this Thursday morning. Our tower cam outside our KIIII studios is showing a wet start. Wet roads and very slick spots out there this morning. Be careful, leave a little extra early. It's 76 degrees. Winds are from the southeast, which is fueling the amount of showers and storms we have out there. Before I get to the radar, visibility is reduced mostly everywhere, especially out west in Orange Grove, Alice, and along the coast near Flower Bluff, Port Aransas, and over in downtown Corpus Christi. And this is all thanks to the radar being pretty active. Now we have a lot of tropical moisture swinging onshore from the south and southeast. And you'll see is zooming in onto the island, the JFK Causeway and the Flower Bluff more scattered to numerous showers are developing all across in Oasis County. Now zooming in onto the roadways, you can see near Airline, McCardle Road, Everhart. This is where a lot of the heavier rain is right now, and some of these pockets are producing some brief heavy rain. I do have lightning tracker on as well. No lightning associated with this. But nonetheless, still some heavy rain northeast of Corpus Christi in the Port Aransas, some scattered light rain and just south of Rockport. And I do want to take you out to the west and southwest. More activity is starting to come in from Hebronville, from the Rio Grande Valley, and from the, you know, Laredo, Zapata County. And this is all start to move to its way towards the northeast, towards Duval County, Benavides, and near Texas 359. So more rain on the way, scattered showers and storms all day today, on and off activity, rounds of storms, high near 84 degrees, very warm, very humid. And some of the storms that are generated as they develop and produce later on this morning and this afternoon, they will be heavy. And by late tonight and tomorrow morning, the coverage of rain only increases. So we have a lot of instability in the air that's going to lead to lots of rain today. Now again, it's going to be on and off. It's not going to be 24 seven rain, but you'll notice by this particular forecast model, it's indicating more scattered downpours out in George West and Beeville by lunchtime. But as I put this into motion, more and more activity is going to fill in by late tonight, and that's going to continue for tomorrow morning. And this is the trend all day long and also into Friday and Saturday. All thanks to this right here, spinning counterclockwise near Southern California and Western Mexico. This will eventually move its way across Mexico and into Texas, and as it does so, it's just going to continue to give us more lift, more instability in the atmosphere. And watch what happens Thursday night, Friday, also into Saturday. More rain, round of storms is going to continue as it moves over central Texas and up the I-35 corridor. And depending as you know, this system moves, you know, quickly, if it moves quickly uh, by Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, we could be on the drier side of things. So, you know, I've been mentioning all morning. If we are on the drier side of things by Sunday, we may see some sunshine, but at the moment, keeping rain chances in the forecast through Sunday and Monday, just in case of which we could see between two and five inches of rain, which is a lot in a short amount of time. And a lot of this is going to fall between now and Saturday here in South Texas. All right, seven day forecast, more storms on the way for today, for tomorrow and Saturday. High temperatures in the lower to middle 80s, overnight lows around 71 to 72 degrees. Uh, a bit warmer on Sunday, especially in the early next week, where temperatures will push near 90 degrees, which is about right for this time of year and early June. But keep in mind, more storms and lots of rain in the forecast for the next 48 to 72 hours. John Thomas. We'll keep that in mind, Ryan. Thank